What the hell is this? Whoa. My scans are picking up an unknown radio signal around this archaic energy source. Ah, okay. Hey folks, and welcome to After Work Gaming, and we are back in Starbound for Episode 3. Now, last time we left off, we had just built all of these crafting stations, and I think we were on the way to getting a spinning wheel, and also an anvil, but that's later on because we need iron. For now, let's go and cut down some more trees for the timber and get some rope going. Although, how we're going to get rope, I'm not sure, because I don't think we can make it. Can we? Oh, we can. We just need fiber. Oh, and uh, some of the trees we planted last time are here. So let's just go ahead and cut these down now. Now, I understand. I may be totally wrong. Mm, okay, that sapling's lost to me. Uh, I may be totally wrong, but I think you can upgrade eventually the speed and sort of width for lack of a better term, of the matter manipulator so that it doesn't take as long, for example, to cut down these trees. Uh, I think the other option is, um, and again, it may be something that comes out of the anvil, but I think you can actually just create, you know, axes and pitch for, and uh, uh, pick axes and the rest. So let's just go ahead and make sure that we're sort of adding as much as we're putting back. We're adding as much as we're taking, so let's take uh, our saplings and we'll just drop a few in here. You know what? Let's, let's see what, it, what we get if we plant, plant three like that. Because it'd be nice to get some more trees. Just because, you know. Why the heck not, right? More materials, more resources, and what can we make? Let's turn 50 of these. Right? Uh, oh, uh, and of course we need silly but we need well it's, it's nighttime right so let's just go ahead and do one thing before I leave I'm gonna dump a bunch of my materials in here because I don't want to lose them while I wander around I don't know what most of this stuff is used for but I just want to make sure that uh, I don't like the fact that you can't stack food. That's for some reason that's really unnerving to me. Um, okay, we need this. Okay. Hmm. Let's go find. I mean, makes oh, the birds. Listen, bird. Yeah. That's right. Uh. Okay, let's go ahead and give me the fibers. And we'll build our way back out of here. But uh, even before that though, let's go ahead and drop a torch. It feels better now, right? Let's, let's just, while we're down here, let's just explore a little bit. It looks like we're at a dead end, but that's fine. Let's actually Nice. Okay, and I mean, since we're down here and sorta of, kinda of protected, I wonder if these grow back. Uh, I think in the early versions they didn't, but I'm, I'm curious to see whether the developers have added that feature. Uh, all right, well the fact that there's jumping stuff back there doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence when I'm running around in the pitch black. I got, yeah, I got like three pixels. Okay, well, <sighs> so this is this is my punishment for for thinking ahead and taking and putting everything in a box and now I need the stuff that I put in the box. I am officially a genius. But you know what? Listen, I just graduated from the academy. Don't take it out on me. Uh, there's still time to sort of learn how things work. Now it really is bothering me. I don't know why. It's bothering me that the that the dirt is different color. So, you know, there's no, once you dig it up, I guess, there's no going back. You can't just, like, replace it. Okay, fine. Let's just go ahead and... Nope. I just, the thing is, I want to make it as minimum, the minimal height 
it necessary in order to get out of here. Oh my goodness. Sorry about this, guys. I I am having a serious case of, uh, well, it's not really the Mondays. I don't think there are Mondays in Starbound, but just nothing's going right. Okay, here we go. We've got our lashings. We've got our, our plant fibers. We've got our... How many can we make? We can make 18. I don't want that. Uh, since I have plant fibers to spare, how many does this take? It takes four. Uh, let's make eight ropes. Because I think you can climb down ropes. I think if you like throw them off of cliffs, you can probably climb down. And we now have ropes. Oh, that's right. Let's take the cobblestone. Let's take the wood. And now we can make a spinning wheel. And let's see what that can give us beyond... Uh, interesting. Why can we put the spinning wheel where it'll sort of make sense? Let's go ahead and put it up here. Now, the other thing I want to do, because I realize that it's pretty hard for me to navigate up there, because I'm essentially a mook, let's go ahead and make 60 platforms so that I can make little steps so that I can sort of jump up there from anywhere and I don't have to worry about this. So let's... Let's do that. Alright, now it kind of looks like we have a little awning here. Can I... Is this... No? Is it too high? No, it's not. Alright, what can we make? We can make string from fiber, obviously. We can make fabric, a teddy bear. A cute little teddy bear, okay. And we can make clothes and we can make dyes. Now the string, I feel like, is important for something. Uh, what's it important for? Beds? No, I need fabric for beds. Um, okay, so that's various refined woods. Uh, copper, copper, copper. Oh, okay, so for the hoe. So now I think the next order of business is we need to, we need cotton. Trees are growing in. We need copper. Hopefully this will take us somewhere where we can find some good old-fashioned copper because, and in fact, I think that's it right there. Uh, and mud is going to be good because I think mud is going to be used for, I feel like it's used for like pots, but anything that requires like high, high heat feels right. Um, now, I don't know what we would use coal for. In, in, in days past, in the earlier versions, you would use coal to, f to power... Well, your ship, for one, back before it, it became like this broken down, busted up wreck. But also... Let's see. But also you would use uh, you would use it to, to basically fuel furnaces. You would fuel... You discovered coal. You can turn coal into torches. The chances of failed incidents are dramatically in increased in the dark. Explore the crafting menu. Oh. Well... That answers my question. So let's get some coal, just because I'm down in my last five torches. I started with ten, so I placed five. But I want to make sure, and I see some iron right there off to the right. And I want to get it because, you know, first of all, why the hell not? But second of all, because I know, and there's some more iron up there, because I know for a fact that the anvil crafting table requires iron, right? So why not pick it up now when I see it? And then I'll go back. I mean, I don't see any resources later on, and I don't really fancy the idea of having to jump my way back up the... Okay. Give me the tree. I don't feel like going back up this side of the cliff, right? I really don't want to go through that. So, tree, go, tree falls down, and I'm going to take this, and of course, immediately betray betray my, my distaste for having to jump back up. What the hell is that? Hold on. I feel like uh, it was worth the jump. Uh, I'll go to that in a second. I mean, obviously. I can't just let that go, but okay. What the hell is this? Whoa. 
My scans are picking up an unknown radio signal around this archaic energy source. Ah, okay. That's what we have to find. I'll patch it in. If you've picked up this message, you must have found an ancient gateway. Please use it to come and find me. You can power up the gate with core fragments. I've scanned for nearby core fragments. They appear naturally within the geology of this planet. Readings suggest numerous ore clusters deep below the ground near the planet's center. Okay. That's interesting. This thing is... Oh, look at that. Ancient gate. Gate credit. 1920. Uh, what does he say? Or Florin wonder which strange creature makes the door. Uh -huh. Shiny rock. Florin is reminded of a setting sun. Yeah, okay, the same thing. Florin not close. No. Ancient controls for the ancient gate. Uh, so these, I guess, are all the different races. There's the Florin. Yeah. This one's missing. That's not cool. I guess there's an eighth race out there. And of course, the tentacle monsters, I'm assuming, are the things that destroyed Earth. And I'm like, right, getting wet. Okay. And the wet modifier, I guess, means that I may be a little heavier, I may be a little slower, maybe I don't jump as high. Which is great when I want to scale this cliff. Okay, so uh, let's go refine up some copper. And I think we, have, we should have enough. And it's perfect timing because the sun is setting now um, and we should have enough to make a hoe and uh, and uh, the watering can so that we can start farming and that's kind of what I want and also not for nothing it's a really good thing oh, back off I'm not killing bunnies right now for uh, Okay, well, Florin may mark the the death uh, with flowers, but here's the thing. I spied with my little eye something in the ground. It could be a body. And in fact, I am seeing bones. It's not great. I mean, I realize I'm defiling a, a grave. But recognize for a second. Yes, 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 bones. Ooh. All for ten measly friggin' iron and an iron chest, which holds 16 items, the same as a crate. You know, what's the what, what's the good of defiling somebody's grave if you're just going to get the same sort of storage capacity that you can build on your own? No good in it, is what I say. Uh, okay. So, foraging table, nobody cares. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Right. Right. Let's make all the copper and all of the iron. Oh, we need more iron. Oh, that's fine. Uh, the more important thing for us right now is first of all I see the trees on that side so we're gonna make the farm here on the right I need a string okay make a string ah. you can't just hit it it's not gonna passively craft you actually be you have to be in the menu that's kinda of funny no that's perfect so we have five bars four bars for the hoe and one bar for the can and let's just take a look what do we have here in terms of dirt we have plenty of dirt okay let's um let's just go ahead and toss some toss some of that around okay so here's what i'm going to do because i know let's just go ahead and clear the rocks because I'm just going to drop dirt on it anyway. It's going to be a pretty small farm. I mean, this is sort of a, for lack of a better term, this is going to be a proof of concept farm. And once this is planted, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we didn't do a lot, except, you know, we did quite a lot, actually. I, I don't know what I'm saying. We discovered what that 
source of the archaic energy is. We realize that what we need is core fragments, so those, according to Sale, are at the bottom of, or at the, the closer to the core of the front of the planet. So we have to dig down, or find some other way down there. And I don't like that not at all, because that means I'm going to have to really spelunk, and my food food levels are really the weakness you're feeling. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Let's get a potato going. Potato. Uh, and let's eat one of the, let's eat two of these. Yes. Um, no. Man. Oh, yes, it's raining. Perfect. And in fact, I think it's like raining. Oh. Yeah, that happens. Wait. Get back. Get away. Bird. I really don't have the time for you right now. Okay, my house is like... This is flooding. Okay. Um... Okay. So the house flooded, and as you can see, when it floods, it doesn't let you keep any of the stuff that you put on. So let's do this. Because I am... I think I saw here a hatch. Let's build a hatch. And let's see what that looks like. I've never had a hatch before. This is something that's new. I see. What if I did that? Oh, cool. Uh, but that's not awesome enough. See? Like, I, I need to prevent the, the water from getting in. So let's do this. Let's get our handy-dandy... Handy dandy uh, matter manipulator, and let's toss the hatch here. That's good. Good. And we're gonna take out this lattice work, and we're gonna drop this this wall down eventually, I think. But right. Right. And the reason for that is now, as you can see, this, this allows somewhat helpfully for you to fill out, uh, you know what, no. Lattice work be damned. I like the, I like the lattice work. Let's go ahead and cut that back and we'll toss a, a plant there. Okay, that's good. So some of the lattice work may have fallen off or something. And now we're going to go ahead and just cover this back up with wood. And where is our fire? Our fire is here. That's nice. Florin's standing in the fire. Ooh, steaks. Perfect. I got one steak. I can cook a steak. And then rice is good. Okay. Oh, I see. So if the door is open, obviously the, the the water comes in. But we are here to plant, and then we're done. I swear. I, this was this was an emergency. I needed to get this done. Uh, so we've learned that potatoes are amazing. Okay, so the potatoes go down. Uh, what else do we have? Cotton seed. We don't have rice seed, do we? That's really weird. Um, that's fine. So let's let's put down the pearl pea seeds. And then, let's put down the cotton seeds. And, just for good measure, let's go ahead and water these. Oh, that's that. I, 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 I see what that menu is for. It's there to show that mm, I got a menu open. See, water sort of filtered in down here, and this is why it's now filled with water. And that is a bug. Now, I feel bad for that bug, but here's the problem. Uh, you know what? No, there is no problem. We're just going to do that. I was going to fill it in with dirt, but then I realized, uh, why do that? That's not fair. Uh, that's, I guess that's it. Now, you know what I'm going to do? 
nothing. You know what? No, I'm not going to do anything right now. That's that's it. And uh, well, no, that's the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the same sort of two-piece awning that I built on the other end so that uh, I can get across. So that's it. Um, let me go ahead and move this one down so that I don't have to constantly jump. I still have to jump from this area. God damn it. That's it. So for this episode, we've done, I think, quite a lot. We've we've fully uh, run through the progression, as it were. Uh, let's get these saplings back because I might plant some up offline. Uh, we're going to wait for this to grow in. Uh, I'm going to have to sort of get out here a little bit and water it some more. Then we're going to get more iron, I think, so that we can get the last production, the anvil. And then we'll go from there. Now, watering can, watering cups with fast from a water can. It needs tungsten. I don't need that right now. Bug net, maybe. I, I think it's if you you want to capture like butterflies or something. A hunting rifle, a hunting bow, so that I can get meat. It needs more copper, so I'd have to find more copper. And then there's you know, lanterns which require oil, which I don't have. Lantern on a stick needs a lantern, and this also needs a lantern. So uh, there's something to strive for. We have this little fire pit here so that we can cook. I think if I rebuild or build out, I'll probably move the harvesting and cooking table along with the fire so that I don't have to worry about it. And that's about it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this. If you have comments, let me know if you think something's good, something's bad. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, otherwise, have a good one, and I will see you next time.